Okay. So I think I'm live. And let's see if anybody's around. <laughs> I decided to do this at the very spontaneous moment that I did <laughs> about 15 minutes ago. <laughs> this is so me. But yeah, I was like, you know, before I go and make dinner, I want to see if there are any messages for us. So if anybody is watching, um, say hi. It would be nice to know. Uh, so you may or may not be aware that today has been, uh, well, the energies have been building up till today uh, over the past week and more so too um, over the course of many weeks actually. And uh, so Pluto went direct at the same day that we had the 1010 portal. And then today we have both the new moon uh, and an eclipse, a solar eclipse. And uh, again, I don't pretend to be an expert in any of this, but what I do know is that it has, um, the energies have been very intense. People who are sensitive, have been feeling them really strongly. People uh, have been feeling fatigued. Uh, a lot of people have been feeling pressure in their hearts. I know I have. Uh, there's also been a lot of stuff with uh, sparky people and anger and outbursts. Uh, a lot of stuff with relationships coming up for, I guess I want to say purification. Uh, so all of this has been going on and I know I have felt it as well on a lot of different levels. And I definitely have been feeling this heaviness in my heart. And of course, so much of it has to do with what's happening in the Holy Land, of course. Um, those of us who are sensitive, it's easy for us to pick up on um, these feelings, right? So, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's been, it's been happening. It's been happening. And so I just wanted to come on and do a, a quick reading uh, to see what hmm, all the beautiful beings of light have to have to say to us for today. So I've got two decks with me. I've got my Ascended Masters deck, which I haven't used in a while. Not that I don't like it, I love this deck. And I also have my goddess deck. And I feel like I wanna start with the Ascended Master deck. So um, this is going to be a card for whoever's watching now. Uh, let's see, if, if anybody's coming in, just feel free to say hi in the comments. Say, hi, I'm here, <laughs> if you would like to. Um, and this is also for anybody who watches it in the future. Okay, so, all right, so I'm going to call upon the Ascended Masters of the Highest Light. And I always think of Ascended Masters as not just beings of light, but that they embody certain types of energy. They're, they, are, they are just different forms of energy. And uh, if you you know, want to look at it that way or not. So, okay. All right, so. So I'm asking the Ascended Masters of the Highest Light for a message for us for today. I think I'm just going to choose one card. What? This is for anyone watching now and anyone watching in the future. Oh, this one. Okay. Hmm. Mother, wife, sister, daughter, and the being, the master is Lady Nada, who's one of my all-time favorites, actually. I really love her. And I love her because... She really embodies the energy of neutrality. 
And I think actually this is what this card is about. This is, um, it says mother, wife, sister, daughter. And I immediately thought of Mother Earth when I saw this. And who's hurting so much, right? Mother Earth right now is really hurting. And the heart of Mother Earth right now is very much connected to what's happening in the Holy Land. And so what I'm feeling is that um, a, a mother loves her children unconditionally. She loves all of her children unconditionally. Right? Oh, a good mother, right? The divine mother. She loves all of her children unconditionally, no matter how badly they behave or what they do. She loves her children unconditionally. And I, what I'm getting is this is a message for us about how we can navigate these times. Because all the stuff that's happening in the world, and particularly in the Holy Land, is breaking people apart, tearing people apart, put, pitting one group against another group. You know, us against them, them against them, however it is. And that's what all of these, I want to say, beings of darkness that are around are trying to do is to pit people against each other and to create strife, to create, to divide, divide and conquer, right? Um, but if you can somehow, and I know this is challenging, if you can somehow look at every being on the earth through the eyes of unconditional love, through the eyes of God, spirit, source, the divine, whatever you like to call it, okay, and, and just love them, just love them. Doesn't mean condoning behavior that is horrible. It doesn't mean that at all. Okay. But just seeing the divine in everyone. That's what I feel this card is about. It's about being the mother, the wife, the sister, daughter, embodying this divine feminine energy of unconditional love. That's what I think it means in the greater scope. I'm going to read uh, the what it says in the description. And maybe this might resonate with you on a personal level. So it says the issue that you're asking about involves a significant woman in your life, such as your mother, wife, girlfriend, sister, or daughter. The first person who comes to mind is correct. Any unhealed feelings that you carry towards this person could be blocking or slowing the manifestation of your dreams, as well as leading to imbalances. This is a perfect time to call upon God, your guides, and angels to release any toxins associated with past or present female relationships. This process opens the way for healthy relationships with women, including your own feminine energy. And I'm really feeling that because. Um, relationships with female friends and, and so on has been uh, very much coming up for me on a personal level. And I think it's, uh, I think this is very, very interesting. It's an interesting card. It also says balance your masculine and feminine energy by practicing giving and receiving on a daily basis. Be willing to forgive a woman in your life who seems to have hurt you. A female deceased loved one is saying, I love you from heaven. A new relationship with a woman will prove, will prove to be very significant. So you can take from that what resonates. Um, but definitely with this eclipse and the, the energies around today, relationships have been really coming under the microscope. Uh, what you will and will not tolerate in a relationship, having boundaries and so on. Um, so this could be for you related to a relationship with a woman, a particular woman in your life, your mother perhaps. And a bit about Lady Nada. Lady Nada is an ascended master who works with Saint Germain and Archangel Michael to help bring about balance of the male and female energies of the world. 
Her name signifies a beautiful sound of the void of silence. Mm. I really, yeah, that's why I feel that she just embodies this, the neutrality of the void of the, the cosmic void where peace is found. You can call upon Lady Nada to help you find peace with both females and males in your life and also to harmonize and balance masculine and feminine energies within yourself. So, If you're watching this, pop a comment in, say hi, and tell me if this resonates for you. Or well, what about it resonates. Um, but I also feel that this is about our relationship with the Divine Mother and Mother Earth as well. Yeah. And so I'll just let me see her again. Mother, wife, sister, daughter. Okay. And I'm going to pull one more card from my goddess deck that I love to work with a lot. And let's see. So calling upon the goddesses at the highest light. What message do you have for today for anyone watching now or in the future? What is the most important thing for them to know? Oh, lovely. Abundantia, prosperity. Who doesn't like that? <laughs> it says, the universe is pouring its abundance out to you. Be open to receiving. Mm, that's a great message. I love this card. It's so beautiful. So I feel like, you know, abundance is all around us, right? Abundance doesn't just mean money, although it can, of course, mean that, right? But we can have an abundance of beauty, an abundance of fresh air, an abundance of good company abundance of all kinds of blessings uh, and placing our awareness on the abundance that we have really helps us tune into that. So like every time I, you know, cook myself a beautiful meal and I love to cook, right? Anybody who knows me knows I love to cook. I'm really focusing on the abundance of it. It just like, it's just so beautiful to have like beautiful fresh vegetables and beautiful ingredients and uh, create something really amazing. And uh, it, that to me is, it, that's very much tuning into abundance or taking a walk in nature and seeing the beautiful trees and grass and flowers and plants and rocks and stones and all this stuff, right? That's abundance. Um, abundance of, you know, Maybe you have wonderful family or friends. There's always something that we have, right? That's in, you know, don't think about an abundance of problems, right? You know, let's focus on what we do have in abundance, right? That can always shift us into something. Maybe you have an abundance of card decks. <laughs> Maybe you have an abundance of books. Maybe you have an abundance of uh, knowledge and wisdom that you can share with people, right? So. Um, Focusing on that. So let me see what the card says. The abundant, abundantia. I love this. Uh, so prosperity. So the message from abundantia. Asking for help. Mm. Oh, asking for help. How many of you have trouble with that? <laughs> asking for help is a sign of strength, not weakness. You are very powerful, and I'm here to support your growing power. It's right for you to receive this help as we function as a team. I've heard your prayers, worries, and affirmations. I'm pouring my cornucopia, and you could see that, right? She's got a cornucopia. And the Thanksgiving season is coming. We're in the, we're in the harvest time. We are harvesting, right? We are harvesting now. That's kind of what's also happening during this eclipse is we're 
harvesting from the seeds of karma that we've planted. I'm pouring my cornucopia of prosperity upon you now, so expect unforeseen windfalls and gifts. Notice the new ideas, feelings, and visions within you. This guidance gives you clear direction about actions to take in conjunction with my assistance. Together, we're unstoppable. And other meanings is to be open to receiving, because that's the thing. We have to believe we deserve it. And that holds so many people back, right? Because a lot of us are walking around with these programs that we don't deserve. Right? We don't deserve. Um, a new windfall of money is coming to you. You have nothing to worry about. Your new venture will be financially successful. Visualize and affirm abundance. Abundance comes to you in many ways, including extra time, support, and ideas. And Abundantia is a Roman and Norse goddess of prosperity, success, and abundance, who is said to bring good fortune and financial windfalls to all who call upon her. She carries a cornucopia of golden coins, which trail behind her wherever she goes. One sign that she's with you is that you'll find lots of spare change in unlikely locations. And rest assured that Abundantia brings more than pocket money to those who call upon her. She bestows all kinds of prosperity, including increased amounts of time, ideas, and other forms of support. So like I said, there are many ways to have abundance, right? It's not just about money. Um, an abundance of time, all oh, right? Abundance of support. So I really love this in terms of the feeling of the harvest, the abundant harvest. So, and I feel like related to what we're talking about with the, with the eclipse energies and the new moon energies, right? So this is a great time to work on manifesting abundance and also to realizing that you're reaping, right? Reaping the fruits of your, your labor. So that's the message, reaping the fruits of your labor. So good news. Yes, good news. All right. So I just wanted to come in and share those with you. And uh, also, if you don't haven't heard about it, on the 28th, I'm uh, doing a, a really fun event with my friend and colleague, Clairvoyant Jess. Uh, on the 28th, we're going to be doing uh, the cosmic, uh, what are we calling it? The cosmic, I forgot the name. <laughs> we're having an event. It's going to be great. Uh, and it's, we're getting together and we're, oh, hey, Sarah. Hi. <laughs> we're getting together and we're uh, going to be doing readings and um so she channeled readings, channeled messages, and we're going to be giving messages both for everyone as a collective in the group, but also everyone who attends is going to uh, have a, a, their own personalized message. So very, very exciting. And we're really looking forward to it. I'll put the link in the comments to register. And if you register tonight, tonight's the last night today tonight wherever you are in the world if you register you'll get it for only 44 dollars so it's like a super discounted rate uh it's going to be at 4 p.m eastern standard time and which is 10 p.m central european time uh and it's going to be on the 28th and i'm really looking forward to it she she's amazing she gets like all these incredible messages we're also going to offer some healings and we're just going to sort of play. We're going to see what spirit is guiding us to do. And um, I think it's just going to be a lot of fun. Oh, it's called the Cosmic Soul Session. That's what it's called. <laughs> now I remember the Cosmic Soul Session. And uh, yeah, we're going to just, uh, we're going to play and see what spirit brings in. And so all kinds of channeled messages and energy transmissions probably some healings, you know, we'll see what we're guided to do. Uh, and I love collaborating with other people because, um, you know, when you're collaborating with someone else, the two energies work off each other and it's very inspirational. We get, so you get like even double, double the fun, right? Double the energy, double the messages and so on. So if you want to join us, I'm going to put the link in, but um, 
don't wait too long to register because since it's uh, the group has to be somewhat limited because so we could have time to give the messages to everyone. So um, I'll put the link in the comments to register. And that is there. That's the Cosmic Soul session. So I hope you'll join us then. And so this has been fun. I hope that these messages resonated with you. This really to me was so it really this is so much about what's happening in the holy land and about the importance of staying in our hearts and loving everyone unconditionally and not allowing ourselves to be um pulled into that whole us against them this you know who uh, the energy of neutrality is really about pulling back from all of that stepping out of that and really trying, doing our best to see through the eyes of spirit. You know, we're all just beings having our earthly experience, however we choose to do it. And just send love, just send love. Send love to everyone even people you can't stand to send love, right? All right, so thank you for joining me, um, whether you're joining me right now or in the future watching it later. And, uh, and I think that these messages, they're for today, but um, they're not just for today. I think this message is pretty timeless. And, you know, who doesn't like to have abundance raining down upon them, right? And I think when you're in the state of unconditional love, you are in a state of abundance, right? So focusing on that energy of ease and joy and love and abundance, very high frequency. Okay, so I will see you next time. I'm going to try to go live more often. This is fun. So I will see you. Okay. Bye.